Hey, this is James from jameshasanswers.com. Today I'm going to show you how to upgrade the memory in a QNAP TS251 NAS. Uh, I've got two 8 gig sticks here I'm going to try to put in here. First thing is to remove the drive cages. Lift up here, pull out the drive, and here, pull out the drive. Next, turn it around. We're going to remove these two screws, one and two. With the screws removed, we can now slide off the top cover. If you look here, we have a lock and unlock. So we slide this to the unlock position and then lift it straight up. Move that to the side. Now there are five screws to remove the drive cage. There are one, two, three, four, and then one around the back here. So we'll start out with that one. Now these screws are very tight when I did it the first time. So you might need to apply some downward pressure as you try to unscrew them for the first time. With these five screws removed, we can now lift out this drive cage here. This little lip, so I can just kind of hold it here and here, push up and pull it out. You can see this plugs into this slot right here. Push both of these tabs outward and that pops up so it's loose and we just pull it free like this now I'm gonna take my new 8 gig stick one of them put it back in here like so and then push it down till it clicks the other one is a little trickier to get in uh, first you gotta put it upside down like this now when you slide it in there you gotta put it in and then put it at an angle plug it in and then press it down Come out this way. See, I've got to add a bit of an angle here. I'm going to take my finger here and push it in. And our, there we go. Now it's in. I'm going to push down until it locks both these tabs. And there we go. The memory is now installed. Now we simply put everything back together. So we'll get the drive cage here, flip it back right, make sure this plugs into the slot here as you're putting it down but if you honestly align the screw holes that should all work out nicely it's all good there and there now we put these screws back in they are all the same screw so you don't need to worry about mixing these five up this last one on the back with those all in we take the cover again we want to find this little arrow and line it up with the unlocked arrow on the bottom as you're sliding it on this front lip should be right in front of the drive cage to help align it better and if you got it on there there should be no seam right there the arrows line up with the lock unlock Slide it on, now it's locked. Put back in these last two screws. There we go. And last, we put the drive back in. Make sure this is raised, put it in, click it into place. Make sure this is raised put it in and there we go and that is how you upgrade the memory in a QNAP TS251 NAS